hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful butterfly gown with a keyhole okay so keep watching and if you've not subscribed please do well to subscribe like share and comment on my videos well, let's get started so guys i am folding it watch how i'm going to fold it i this is the full length this is three years of uh chiffon fabric so i'm going to fold it first like this then i will make it to be the same on the same length i'm trying to make it to be on the same length then i'll fold again like this i'll fold like this again and then i'll pin it down so that is how i folded the material then i'm going to place the center front on my side then mark the starting point this is my starting point. I didn't start from the upper, upper side. I just wanted to start on that place. So I'm marking down my starting point, which, which will also serve as my shoulder point. So placing my tape on a straight line, I am going to mark my waist point. You, we won't be needing the boss point here. Okay. There is no need. Uh, marking the boss point but I, I later marked it there so my waist point is 16 which i marked then the hip point 24 which i marked also but i later marked the boss point which is not necessary but let me just i did it for just doing purpose so i marked the boss point then next i'm going to mark the full length of the gown so i had to draw it down so that you guys can see the I use 46 inches as the full length because my my client wants the gown to be just above the knee and she's a tall person she's very very tall so that is why I marked it at 46 so 46 is my full length that's the full length of the gown so I'm going to be cutting out the excesses right now So I'll cut out the ones that I won't be needing. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be putting like songs in these kind of places that I'm not saying anything. But the kind of um copyright in videos now, hmm, I hardly put, especially the videos I worked so hard to create, I hardly put videos. Um, songs that i did not make by myself so i don't have any song to put here so manage me so guys i've cut out the places that i won't be needing so i have only the ones i'll be needing here now so i place my tape on a straight line also i'm just trying to make some adjustments now so next thing i'm going to do now is to um mark our neckline so the depth of my neck i use 1.5 inch as the, as the depth of my neckline the depth as the depth of the neck then three inches first remember it's a drop gown so the neck is drop i used five inches okay five inches for the wideness of the neckline for both front and back for both the front and back Five inches for the whiteness, one point five inch as the depth. So I'm so next thing I'm going to do is to divide my boss point by, divide by four plus two inches same allowance. My client's waist point divided by four plus two inches same allowance, and the hip point divided by four plus two inches same allowance. That is what I will be needing because the first point is the boss point, the second point is the waist point that that place that i'm going to mark is my waist point divided by four plus two inches in allowance that is what i just marked here so i'm going to divide my boss point by four plus two inches in allowance i'm looking at my client's measurement so my client's hip point divided by four plus two inches in allowance that's her hip point then i also put her boss point divided by four plus two inches in allowance which is not necessary but I did it anyways. So we have our full curve here. Then I took the hip point 
divide by 4 plus 2 inches on her. I took it all the way down to the full length of the gown. She wants her gown to be an A-line gown, which I marked on a straight line. I made it to be very, very free for her. So, guys, next thing I'm going to do is to mark the keyhole. So, I went out from the waist point. I marked 3 inches outward. I went up by 3 inches also and I went down by 3 inches from the waist point. Then I connected. It. it was so small for me. I had to extend the wideness by 1 inch. <coughs> Sorry. So I extended it by 1 inch to make it to be very wide because my client is very huge and big as well. So I had to cut it out right now. But before I cut out, let's check the full length of the sleeve. So we have 3 inches, 4 inches as the shoulder point, the normal shoulder point, 3 inches and 5 inches. Then from that 5 inches, I am going to check the length. We are going to use the whole length, okay? So here we have the whole length. We are going to use the whole fabric for the full sleeve, okay? So we are okay with the sleeve. So let's cut out the the keyhole. So this is how I cut out the keyhole. So now we are done cutting out the keyhole. We are going to cut out the neckline. Remember the wideness of the neck is 5 inches. Why the depth is 1.5 inches. But I still did some adjustments when I was joining it. So, so you will see it before the end of this video. So now we are done cutting. We are done with the cutting of this beautiful style. It's very, very simple. This is one of the most easiest style you will ever, ever make. So this is it. This is the... I'm trying to turn the front bodies. This is the front piece of the material. This is front piece. And this is the back piece. I'm trying to place them right side facing right side, okay? So the, 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 the back of the material is going to face the right side of the front of the material. The front piece, sorry. The front, the front piece is going to face the right side of the back piece. That's right side facing right side. So here we are. I'm going to pin down the shoulders, the two shoulders together because we're going to run a stitch on both sides of the shoulders. Music, music, music is supposed to be playing here. Music, but YouTube, they give me copyright. No verse. No verse. Oh, no verse. Oh, no verse. Okay, after pinning down the both shoulders, this is the both shoulders. So, next thing I'm going to do, remember we have a keyhole there, which is supposed to be on the same track, okay? No mistakes here. Make sure they are on the same tracks. So, next, uh, we are going to join the two shoulders. Then, we are going to use a bias to run the neckline. The wideness of the neck but well, i have to extend because they we have a drop neck it's a drop neck okay it's a drop neck i'm going to make some adjustments one side of the neckline is going to be bigger than one side so i'm going to be this one side is going to be more open than the other side so i chose this side and i had to draw with my chalk just draw like two inches outwards coming by two inches then did some adjustment cut off some little 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 things so i went in by two inches and i cut it out that is what i did here so i'm going to bring my bias tape this bias tape i'm going to use it to run around the neckline after joining the shoulder so then i'll use the bias tape to run it around then i'll bring it and show you what it looks like so here i am done joining the shoulders and i've run the bias tape on the neckline and it came out so neat and beautiful also i joined one side of the keyhole as you can see 
okay i joined this side of the keyhole as you can see so i'm going to use the other side to teach you how you can also do it uh, on your own okay so this is how i did it remember we are on the right side of the materials now this is the wrong side the place i just opened then i'm going to just bring it together like this and pin okay bring the right side and the right side together and pin make sure you are closing the keyhole you're going to do it around around the keyhole okay don't worry there will say no space okay it's not going to hook you're going to do it around around keep doing it keep closing it close it right side facing right side okay right side facing right. on the wrong side though make sure you count that as in after turning it you are on the right side then turn over to the one side like how am i going to explain it you see what i did in video now just we are on the right side though but by the sleeve side you just turn the wrong side and start pinning it down uh -huh. make my english not come to stop now so i'm going to this is the right side ahead this is just the right side of the material but when you are turning it over just open this sleeve and just run it so now i'm going to close it i'm going to hem the both sides of the sleeve like this hem it all the way down and the down part i will also hem it all the way down and i will come back and so the guy the, the work is finished though there is nothing to work here so the work is finished i'm just going to show you what it looks like here i think i'm done i'm done doing everything necessary to do i've run the two keyholes as you can see it came out so beautiful and neat so now i'm going to show you the belt it has a belt see this this is the belt this is how it came out so beautiful so guys this is the most easiest tutorial you can see on this channel thank you guys for watching see you guys in my next video i still remember your number one okay bye